This is the case of a potato farmer. A potato farmer went to pluck apples. He went to the apple tree, but he won't look up. He started digging the earth. Oh, if you let him dig, he will uproot the tree itself, which we are doing right now in pursuit of human happiness. Are we not ripping off the planet itself, the source of our life? What is this? All this in pursuit of happiness. Why? Because you're not happy. You think you can, you're going to squeeze happiness out of this planet and every other life and every other human being around you? No. If you want pleasantness of experience or unpleasantness of experience, both happen within you. The source of your experience is within you. If you realize this, you will take charge of them. I was just wondering, so you said that we're still trying to learn like how to live on Earth. What would you say is the right way to live on Earth? And is there even a right way to live? So instead of saying the right way, <clears throat> Right way means what is correct, what is incorrect, these kind of things will come. What is morally right, morally wrong, that's not what we look at. It's about well-being, all right? When do you feel well? Tell me, when you're angry, do you feel well? When you're frustrated, do you feel well? When you're fearful, do you feel well? Huh? <laughs> no. No? When you're joyful, when you're exuberant, you feel well, isn't it? For what reason you're exuberant, for what reason you're joyful, doesn't matter. You're joyful and you feel well, it doesn't matter where the hell you are in the world, isn't it? Yes or no? At least that much you must do, isn't it? That your experience of life here is pleasant. If you sit here, your experience of life is pleasant. Then what we can do in the world comes next. This itself is unpleasant. When this is unpleasant, if I touch that, that also will become unpleasant, isn't it? If my hands are not clean, I should not touch, isn't it? Misery means your hands are not clean. When you are a five, six year old child, if there were no extreme situations, you were joyful by your own nature, isn't it? So at five, if you're so joyful, by the time you're 30, you should be bursting with ecstasy. And reverse has happened because we've lost our ability to handle our faculties. Your education systems are not saying one damn thing about this one. They're telling you what is in a cockroach's heart. What for? You don't know what's in this one. We call this science. Science is all about, we want to exploit even a microbe, <laughs> not just an elephant. Even if there is an invisible microbe, we want to extract. People are extracting protein out of microbes. God damn it, leave it alone. Huh? They are giving us protein and everything. <laughs> First learn how to explore this, isn't it? But there is no focus on this. It's always about how to conquer somebody else and something else. No, if you take charge of this one, you will live wonderfully well. And when you're joyful, do you see you're quite a wonderful guy? Yeah. Huh? You are. <laughs> this is true for you, this is true for everybody, you know. I've been teaching programs in the prisons, both in India and even in the United States, we did a few. Our programs are mandatory in southern India. I have worked with hardcore criminals. They, I'm working with long-term prisoners, they have come there for murder or more, okay? If you look at their uh, history sheets, my heart, terrible things they have done. But when they are with me, they are fantastic guys. Because if you keep them happy, they are fantastic. But if you meet that guy when he is angry, when he is miserable, when he is frustrated, you better not be there. But when you meet him when he is happy, this hardcore criminal is a wonderful, wonderful guy, all right? So this is the only crime you're committing. Out of your misery, you want to try to squeeze joy out of somebody or something. So it is instituted <laughs> in the American constitution in pursuit of happiness. Tell me, whether it is happiness or misery, where does it happen? Does it happen here in the air or within you? What happens within you? Why are you chasing it? This is the case of a potato farmer. A potato farmer went to pluck apples. He went to the apple tree, but he won't look up. He started digging the earth. Oh, if you let him dig, he will uproot the tree itself, which we are doing right now in pursuit of human happiness. Are we not ripping off the planet itself, the source of our life? What is this? All this in pursuit of happiness. Why? Because you're not happy. You think you can, you're going to squeeze happiness out of this planet and every other life and every other human being around you? No. If you want pleasantness of experience or unpleasantness of experience, both happen within you. The source of your experience is within you. If you realize this, you will take charge of this. If you take charge of this, you will determine the nature of your experience. If you are determining the nature of your experience, will you choose highest level of pleasantness for yourself or no? Yes. yes. What you want for your neighbor may be debatable, but 
<laughs> what you want for yourself is very clear, isn't it? That's all you need to do. If human beings are joyful and sensible, uh, we will find a way for everything. Right now they're in such states of misery and angst and nonsense, where everything they're colliding with somebody, isn't it? Just everything. You know, my skin, your skin can hit each other. Now you are okay. <laughs>